The groundhog, Marmata monax, also known as a woodchuck, is a rodent of the family Sciuridae, belonging to the group of large ground squirrels known as marmots. The groundhog is a lowland creature of North America, it is found through much of the eastern United States, across Canada, and into Alaska. It was first scientifically described by Carl Linnaeus in 1758. The groundhog is also referred to as a chuck, woodchuck, ground pig, whistle pig, whistler, thickwood badger, Canada marmot, monax, munak, weenisk, red monk, land beaver, and, among French Canadians in eastern Canada, seafleur. The name thickwood badger was given in the northwest to distinguish the animal from the prairie badger. Monax, Munak, is an Algonquian name of the woodchuck, which meant digger, cf Lenape Monacjuo. Young groundhogs may be called chucklings. The groundhog, being a lowland animal, is exceptional among marmots. Other marmots, such as the yellow-bellied and hoary marmots, live in rocky and mountainous areas. In the wild, groundhogs can live up to six years with two or three being average. In captivity, groundhogs reportedly live up to 14 years. Human development, which often produces openings juxtaposed with second growth trees that are incidentally also favored by groundhogs, often ensures that groundhogs in well-developed areas are nearly free of predators, beyond humans, through various forms of pest control or road kills, or mid to large sized dogs. Wild predators of adult groundhogs in most of eastern North America include coyotes, badgers, bobcats, and foxes, largely only red fox. Many of these predators are successful stealth stalkers so can catch groundhogs by surprise before the large rodents can escape to their burrows, badgers likely hunt them by digging them out from their burrows. Coyotes in particular are sizable enough to overpower any groundhog, with the latter being the third most significant prey species per a statewide study in Pennsylvania. Large predators such as gray wolf and eastern cougar are basically extirpated in the east but still may hunt groundhogs on occasion in Canada. Golden eagles can also prey on adult groundhogs, but seldom occur in the same range or in the same habitats as this marmot. Likewise, great horned owls can reportedly, per bent, 1938, prey upon groundhogs, but this owl rarely does so, especially given the temporal differences in their behaviors. Young groundhogs, usually those less than a couple months in age, may also be taken by an American mink perhaps other smallish mustlids, cats, timber rattlesnakes, and hawks. Red-tailed hawks can take groundhogs at least of up to the size of yearling juveniles, and northern goshawks can take them up to perhaps weak emergent adult groundhogs in the spring. Beyond their large size, groundhogs have several successful anti-predator behaviors, usually retreating to the safety of their burrow which most predators will not attempt to enter but also being ready to fight off with their sharp claws and large incisors any who press the attack. They can also scale trees to escape a threat. Occasionally, woodchucks may suffer from parasitism and a woodchuck may die from infestation or from bacteria transmitted by vectors. In areas of intensive agriculture and the dairying regions of the state of Wisconsin, particularly the southern parts thereof, the woodchuck by 1950 had been almost extirpated. Jackson, 1961, suggested that, although the amount of damage done by the woodchuck had been exaggerated, the excessive persecution by people pursuant thereto had substantially reduced its numbers in Wisconsin. In some areas marmots are important game animals and are killed regularly for sport, food, or fur. In Kentucky an estimated 267,500 M. monarchs were taken annually from 1964 to 1971, Barber and Davis 1974. Woodchucks had protected status in the state of Wisconsin until 2017. Woodchuck numbers appear to have decreased in Illinois. The time spent observing groundhogs by field biologists represents only a small fraction of time devoted to the field research. W.J. Schoonmaker reports that groundhogs may hide when they see, smell or hear the observer. 41, 43 Ken Armitage, marmot researcher, states that the social biology of the groundhog is poorly studied. Despite their heavy-bodied appearance, groundhogs are accomplished swimmers and occasionally climb trees when escaping predators or when they want to survey their surroundings. They prefer to retreat to their burrows when threatened, if the burrow is invaded, the groundhog tenaciously defends itself with its two large incisors and front claws. 
Groundhogs are generally agonistic and territorial among their own species and may skirmish to establish dominance. Outside their burrow, individuals are alert when not actively feeding. It is common to see one or more nearly motionless individuals standing erect on their hind feet watching for danger. When alarmed, they use a high-pitched whistle to warn the rest of the colony, hence the name whistle pig. Groundhogs may squeal when fighting, seriously injured, or caught by a predator. Other sounds groundhogs may make are low barks and a sound produced by grinding their teeth. David P. Barish wrote he witnessed only two occasions of upright play fighting among woodchucks and that the upright posture of play fighting involves sustained physical contact between individuals and may require a degree of social tolerance virtually unknown in M. Monax. He said it was possible to conclude, alternatively, that upright play fighting is part of the woodchuck's behavioral repertory but rarely shown because of physical spacing and slash or low social tolerance. Mostly herbivorous, groundhogs eat primarily wild grasses and other vegetation, including berries and agricultural crops, when available. In early spring, dandelion and colt's foot are important groundhog food items. Some additional foods include sheep sorrel, timothy grass, buttercup, tear thumb, agrimony, red and black raspberries, mulberries, buckwheat, plantain, wild lettuce, all varieties of clover, and alfalfa. Groundhogs also occasionally eat grubs, grasshoppers, insects, snails and other small animals, but are not as omnivorous as many other sciuridae. Groundhogs will occasionally eat baby birds they come upon by accident. An adult groundhog can eat more than a pound of vegetation daily. In early June, woodchucks' metabolism slows, and while their food intake decreases, their weight increases by as much as 100% as they produce fat deposits to sustain them during hibernation and late winter. Instead of storing food, groundhogs stuff themselves to survive the winter without eating 60 thought not to drink water, groundhogs are reported to obtain needed liquids from the juices of food plants, aided by their sprinkling with rain or dew. Groundhogs are excellent burrowers, using burrows for sleeping, rearing young, and hibernating. W.J. Schoonmaker excavated 11 dens finding the earth removed from these averaged 6 cubic feet, 0.17 cubic meters, per den. The longest burrow was 24 feet plus two short side galleries. The amount of soil taken from this den was 8 U.S. bushels, 0.28 cubic meters, and it weighed 640 pounds. 290 kilograms. The average weight of the earth taken from all 11 dens was 384 pounds, 174 kilograms. Though groundhogs are the most solitary of the marmots, several individuals may occupy the same burrow. Groundhog burrows usually have two to five entrances, providing groundhogs their primary means of escape from predators. Burrows can pose a serious threat to agricultural and residential development by damaging farm machinery and even undermining building foundations. To survive the winter, they are at their maximum weight shortly before entering hibernation. When the groundhog enters hibernation, there is a drop in body temperature to as low as 35 degrees Fahrenheit, heart rate falls to 4, 10 beats per minute and breathing rate falls to 1 breath every 6 minutes. During hibernation, they experience periods of torpor and arousal. Hibernating woodchucks lose as much as half their body weight by February. They emerge from hibernation with some remaining body fat to live on until the warmer spring weather produces abundant plant materials for food. Males emerge from hibernation before females. Groundhogs are mostly diurnal, and are often active early in the morning or late afternoon. The groundhog prefers open country and the edges of woodland, and is rarely far from a burrow entrance. Marmota monax has a wide geographic range. It is typically found in low elevation forests, small woodlets, fields, pastures and hedgerows. It constructs dens in well-drained soil, and most have summer and winter dens. Very often the dens of groundhogs provide homes for other animals including skunks, red foxes, and cottontail rabbits. The fox and skunk feed upon field mice, grasshoppers, beetles and other creatures that destroy farm crops. In aiding these animals, the groundhog indirectly helps the farmer. In addition to providing homes for itself and other animals, the groundhog aids in soil improvement by bringing subsoil to the surface. The groundhog is also a valuable game animal and is considered a difficult sport when hunted in a fair manner. 
In some parts of the U.S., they have been eaten.